the first person that I would say that really touched my heart and changed me was was Cass. I got to see and teach um, this woman who, man, I'm already going to start crying. Um, she was just so prepared to hear the gospel. She had already read through Alma in the Book of Mormon before we had met her. Um, and she had talked to missionaries a couple times before, but nothing had really had really stuck um, teaching-wise. I remember the members invited us to their house to meet her, and I was so excited. I was so excited to meet her. I was still a greenie. <laughs> I was like, yes, like our first investigator. I was so excited that I had been out for like 10 weeks, um, and we just hadn't taught someone for the first time, at, but like had stuck with us. And so I remember we met her and then we set up an appointment. We taught her the restoration. Um, and it was so powerful to like see her and already know and want to want to get baptized, even though we hadn't even asked her yet. Um, and then at the second lesson, we invited her to be baptized and she didn't say anything. Um, and I was like, okay, like this is going to be good. Um, we just like kept teaching her and she kept commitment. She kept coming to church and praying and reading. Um, and we still hadn't heard yes if she wanted to be baptized. But we extended her the invitation to be baptized on September 21st. And she didn't say anything. Like, okay. Um, but then on church, at church the next Sunday, um, she told the member that... Oh, she told a member that she wanted to get baptized on that day. And I remember seeing Relief Society, and the member had just walked in, her fellowshipper. Um, and, like, the announcements were going, so we're, like, trying to, like, be quiet. And the member just turns to us. She was right behind us. She's like, sisters, like, Cass said she wants to get baptized on the 21st. And I about, like, screamed in Relief Society. I was so excited. I was just like, I was so happy. And that was, like, joy to me was in that moment to like know that Cass knew that this was true and knew that she wanted to get baptized so soon. Um, and we got to see her like come closer, even though she had it told us she was coming closer to Christ. So you could see it. Um, and she got baptized and it was one of the greatest experiences seeing her get baptized. Um, but the coolest thing was that she continued and she stayed and she kept reading the Book of Mormon and she finished the Book of Mormon that year um, and testified to us about it. And she kept, she got a calling, was faithful in her calling. She got to teach primary. And then a year later, my companion and I got to go to the temple with her when she received her endowments. It was a, it was a huge for me to see that she had changed and that she knew that she was changing and that this gospel was so true that she progressed all the way. Like she's still progressing and coming closer to Christ, but it was a blessing to teach her and see how prepared she was because Heavenly Father prepares everyone.